Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like, share this video. That's a great way to support the channel. With that being said, I wanted to do a video about the increasing pressure on a lot of metropolitan governments that are being asked to defund the police. And I wanted to give my perspective on this a little bit. While I understand the the basis of these protests. And while I do see why they're trying to do it, obviously I don't agree with the looting. I don't believe with the violence that's out there. I don't believe with the agitators that are funneling themselves into these groups to try to uh, exacerbate the discussion that needs to happen. Uh, I do agree with the idea, the concept of why they're protesting, right? So we're just gonna get that part out of the way. But with the concept of defunding the police, um, I'm concerned about that because from my perspective, it seems as if people are trying to find solutions through emotion. And when you do that, you don't have the ability to really think through what you're asking, right? So first and foremost, if you guys don't already know, there has been a crowd that has approached the Minneapolis mayor and asked him if they, uh, if he would defund the police department. And they threatened him with votes for his reelection next year. And I think that's good. I think that's really, really good. That's holding, you know, elected officials accountable for their decisions. And I think that's a good thing. Now, what they are holding him accountable for, eh, it's kind of, that's kind of bad. But the whole concept of defunding the police department is, um, is a slippery slope. First and foremost, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest arguments to these shootings that have happened or these individuals who have died in the hands of the police, uh, one of the things that comes back from that is a lack of training. They says, well, if they had more training, they would have known they shouldn't have, you know, shot that person or they should have grabbed their taser instead of their pistol or they shouldn't have choked that person or they shouldn't have kneeled on that person. And it all evolves into training, what they should do in escalation of force and trying to detain someone. So if you defund the police, where's the money going to be for training those police officers when they get into a situation like that again? It's not there. So that means there's going to be more instances where the police may be negligible in a situation with a suspect, right? But we're defunding the police to make them better, right? Mm, that's the problem number one. Problem number two is if you defund the police, that means that there's less tax money going to the police departments. So that tax money should be coming back to you guys, right? No. No, it's not. That money is going to be funneled to other programs. And while there is a discussion that needs to be had on how much money is actually going to police departments and where that money should be funneled to help support communities, I think that that would be a constructive um, conversation to have. That doesn't mean that your taxes are going to be lowered. So you're essentially robbing Peter to pay Paul. Hopefully, maybe that will affect some change. Maybe that will help communities. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm worried that in the major metropolitan areas, Minneapolis, Baltimore, New York, Los Angeles, Dallas, Miami, Seattle, you name it, these big cities, I don't think that that is really what's going to happen. And in fact, you have politicians out there saying that we need to increase taxes to be able to fund these other programs. So... I'm really concerned about all of that uh, aspect of it as well. And then finally, the next question is, will you repeal, will the elected officials who say, yeah, we're gonna defund the cops, will they repeal certain gun restrictions on people to make it easier for them to have and carry firearms since there are going to be fewer cops on the road? If you defund the police department, that means there's gonna be fewer cops. That means there's gonna be fewer cops out on patrol, that means there's going to be fewer cops that are going to be able to respond to 911 calls, which means that it's going to be on us to protect ourselves, essentially what the Second Amendment is meant for. 
And the question is, in these major metropolitan areas, are they going to reduce or repeal a lot of the gun restrictions that are out there? And the answer, no, they're not. So essentially, they're trying to come up with a solution to help people, but in fact, they're just giving more control to government, they're taking more of our rights away, and they're going to make it less, uh, less likely or harder for us to protect ourselves. That's kind of my opinion on the whole defund the cops thing. Again, I do understand where they're coming from. I do understand that they're trying to find solutions as best they possibly can. But unfortunately, from my perspective, I think that they're building this off of emotion. They're building this off the emotion of the death of someone that should not have died. I do agree with that. Now, his checkered background, ah, it gets real sticky real quick, but at the end of the day, he still should not have died. And I do understand and, and, and commend the people who are out there peacefully protesting, trying to affect change. But defunding the police department is probably not the answer. That's my perspective. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. This is a one take thing, so I'm sorry if I stumbled and stuttered a little bit there, but I uh, just wanted to get my thoughts out there so you guys could uh, understand where I'm coming from and maybe share your thoughts. Love to hear what you have to say. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys later. As always, freedom through strength comes a high five. Bye, y'all.